sometimes the slits will not close by cleaning them by this method. There's still something on the slits and they won't close completely. So you've got to go deeper. You can take off the diaphragm assembly by these two screws. Take the screw out and I'm going to put a toothpick in its place. Keep pressure on the on the assembly that way with your thumb because there's a bearing behind here that has a detent here. There's a bearing, a spring and a bearing behind here. So I'm going to keep pressure on it while I loosen this side. Put another Q-tip or toothpick in here. So behind here, you've got two rings, and they go in between the diaphragm assembly and the plate. You can take them off like that. And when you put it back on, you can do the same thing. Get two Q-tips or toothpicks of the same length. Put your spacers on each one. Put it back in the hole. But right now, we're going to try to clean these, these slits a little better. They're not closing all the way, and there wasn't enough room to get the entire surface just through the, the largest hole in the diaphragm. So we've taken off the diaphragm assembly so we can get to these slits all the way. I've got some acetone here. If you haven't cleaned your mirror inside yet, now might be a good time to do that with some Windex and these. Clean your mirror in there. And to see if if you've cleaned it well enough to to fully close, go ahead and put your light up without the diaphragm assembly. Just put your light back up there. Turn it on. And look. Get a, get some light shining through and see if you've if you've closed if they close all the way. If they haven't, do it again. Try it again. And if they still don't if you still can't get them to close, you might have to look at which side has the most potential to come to go towards the center. And that would be the side that you would loosen. Hold them tight, be closed, and tighten your screws. It's very possible that the only thing that was keeping the slits from closing was some type of debris. So if you think if they close, then that's good. Now 
Now behind here, this detent, there's a spring and a bearing right there. A small spring and a bearing. It is one and a half millimeters, that little bearing. So if, if you lose it, if it comes out, it's probably the spring is still in there, but you'll have to get another bearing. And this is your diaphragm assembly. It just comes out of this plate. If you have to if it's stiff, you might have to clean it. Put just a little bit of grease back in it. And just a slight dab of grease on your detents. But be careful that you don't get it on your diaphragm. When you're ready to put it back in, go ahead and put your your helping sticks in your holes. Put your spacers back in. You might need to put a little bit of grease to keep that bearing in place that one and a half millimeter bearing so it doesn't pop down. Got your spacers in place. You've cleaned your diaphragm. Moves pretty freely. So we can put it back on. Once you didn't have it in place, keep pressure on it with your thumb. Try to get these straight and just pull it straight out. Put your screw back in in its place. Come straight out. Your old screw in. Okay. Clean your lens, your condensing lens. back in. I want to leave it loose so you can check it again in case you have to take it off. What you can do is go ahead and put one screw in your in your light assembly because you're going to have to adjust center your diaphragm assembly. Now that you've loosened it now that you've removed it out, out of its original position, it might not be centered. So, put your light assembly back in. Get the cleanest, largest light. Tighten it. And then look through and see if you've centered. Might have to loosen these a little bit, just slightly, so that you can move, move your diaphragm assembly left or right, up or down. You have a little bit of play in there where you can, you can center it. Look through your binoculars. 
move your diaphragm assembly wherever it is. When you've got it in the right place, go ahead and snug up your screws. Check it again. If you finally like it, go through all your diaphragms, make sure they're all clean, and make sure your slits completely close again. If you like it, you can take this back off and, and tighten your condensing lens on the other side of your light assembly. After you've done that, put your light assembly back in, put your screws in, get your cleanest light, cleanest, brightest light, tighten these down, you're good to go.